It's Thursday, 19th of January 2017. This is Sylvia Shivamurthy and you're listening to the newspaper reviews on www.adivanenj.com. Let's now look at the paper highlights from today's newspapers. The top highlight in daily news says, China, Singapore, India, FTAs before June. Free trade agreements with China, Singapore and India will be finalized before June this year, Development Strategies and International Trade Minister Malik Samarvira revealed at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland. He said the tripartite agreement should give Sri Lanka market access over 2.5 billion people. Infrastructure to support industry and trade will fall in place within the next two to three years, the minister said. Within the hum of the report is a matter of getting the equipment in place, Ganji cranes and so on, that should happen soon. Within the next six months, the hum of the report should be ready to take off, he said. Another highlight says, CEA Coca-Cola MOU for Cali River Environmental Restoration Work the Coca-Cola Beverages Sri Lanka Limited has signed a memorandum of understanding with the Central Environmental Authority to provide 150 million rupees for environmental restoration work in Kalni River. The highlight in the middle says, Son of High Court Judge assaulted for refusing to be ragged. A second-year undergraduate in Peradini University who defied ragging was yesterday assaulted by a group of undergraduates who promote ragging. The assaulted undergraduate was admitted to the Peradini Teaching Hospital. The assault has taken place at the Postgraduate Institute of the University around 10.30 a.m. And the highlight at the bottom says, Seizure of LTTE caps, suspect seeks bail. Three alleged LTTE suspects, including Subramaniam Nagulesa Raja, alias Nagulan, arrested and remanded over seizure of several caps bearing the LTTE logo in Narayanpita yesterday, sought bail from the Colombo Magistrate Court. Let's now move to the paper highlights in Daily Mirror. The top highlight says, Decision up to Parliament, says Kiriala while stating that no decision has been made in the constitutional progress regarding the unitary character or devolution of power, leader of the House and member of the Constitution Steering Committee, Lakshman Kiriala said yesterday, the final decision on these matters will be made by Parliament. Another highlight says, Joint Opposition lodged complaints with BC and CID. The joint opposition yesterday lodged a complaint with the Bribery Commission and the CID against the Public Enterprise Development Minister Kabir Hashim, management of the Sri Lankan and Prime Minister's advisor Charita Ratwatha. The highlight in the middle says, Government to amend firearms ordinance. The government has decided to amend the firearms ordinance as a timely requirement and for security reasons. And the highlight at the bottom says, Regulatory authority for three-wheelers and school vans. In order to upgrade the quality of service of the passenger transportation in three-wheelers and student transportation in school vans, the Cabinet on Tuesday approved to establish a regulatory authority, Cabinet Spokesman Health Minister Dr. Rajita Senaratna said yesterday. And now, let's move to the paper highlight in Tilong today. The top highlight says, Vaunia South Slam's delimitation report. A protest demonstration was held yesterday opposite the Vaunia main bus depot by the villagers of Bogaswava, Bogaswava 2, Nandimitra Gama, Sela Lihini Gama, and Namal Gama in the Vaunia South Divisional Secretariat against plans to divide the Divisional Secretariat into five as per the report compiled by the delimitation committee. The highlight in the middle says EU uncompromising GSP plus still in doubt. The European Union Parliament, which concluded that Sri Lanka meets the eligibility criteria for restoration of the GSP regulation, still reiterates that it would be granted only if Sri Lanka implements the criteria mentioned in the 27 international conventions. And the highlight at the bottom says, Lankan PM moves integration with ASEAN. Prime Minister Ranil Vikram Singha said yesterday that Sri Lanka is making its contribution to the economic integration in South Asia by making Sri Lanka the economic hub of the Indian Ocean. That's all for today's newspaper highlights and we'll get back to you with more news tomorrow. Thank you.